What up is Don, huh? <laughs> Sam, Sam really here? Yeah, oh, the Soul Brothers. The Soul Brothers. The Soul Brothers. We're back up in it. Soul Squadron. What up? Soul Squad. Squad. Squadron. Hashtag us, man. We're on Instagram. We're on Snapchat. Yep. Get at us. Maybe we'll put a link right here. If Sammy feels like it. Yep. But let's hop in on this review. It's a big boy review. The big boy. This is the fly knit version of the Nike Hyperdome. We call it the elite version. This is our elite version, right? Yep. They've they've Nike's instilled it in us in, in our heads and now they want to switch it on us and just say fly knit. Nah. Yep. It's elite. Okay, so going straight into the review. Traction. There it is. Eight and nine? Yeah. Pretty nice. It's not the best, like the hardest stopping traction, but you stop. Uh, you do have to wipe a good amount. Uh, if it's dusty, maybe like what? Yeah. Five place. It'll pick up a little bit of dust. Yeah, but um, you can even see it in this translucent. Yeah. You see the dust well. It's really dope because like uh, even though it does get dusty, uh, you never slip. No. You know, like some of the shoes where it gets uh, it gets dusty. Yeah. Um, you just slip out immediately. But this shoe, even though it's dusty, you uh, you don't stop it as hard, obviously, because it's dusty. But you don't slip out really hard. Yeah. Which I enjoyed. Um, uh, stopping power was like, mm, like in between medium and hard. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the hardest, you know. Yeah. And outdoor use, I would not recommend it. This, the rubber super pliable. Yeah. A uh, deep, it is pretty deep, as in like it's not shallow. Yeah. This way, if you, can t uh, if you know what I'm saying. You understand? You understand? But yeah, so traction you can't go wrong. It's not the best. Eight or nine. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the midsole. Uh, this is one of the major differences between the normal one and the Flyknit version, aside yep. from the Flyknit. Yep, this is full length zoom. Yep, up, up. Huge fans of zoom, specifically full length, unadulterated, 100% grade A USDA <laughs> zoom. This is full length zoom and we have different, we have varying opinions based so on I, different weights. I couldn't really feel it. I mean, I can feel it in the forefoot, definitely. But then he said it felt like the LeBron 11, which got me excited, but LeBron Not as good, or not as uh, much. Yeah, the LeBron 11 is fucking bouncing. Yeah, it's, it's bouncing. This is like kind of like a slower bounce, yeah. you know? And I don't feel it as much as in the LeBron 11. I can definitely feel it, but it's not it's not like crazy bouncy. Uh, it's The KD9 is definitely bouncier in my opinion. Right, which I have not tried. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cop those soon, but I, I loved it, I mean, it, the impact protection is great. Yeah. Right. It's still pretty responsive, but not the most responsive. Not the most responsive, but yeah. it's not like the the LeBron Eleven is so bouncy that you lose, you know, a good amount of response. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I really like it. Uh, I think it's a good marriage between like you know having you know they've been kind of blowing it with Zoom a lot in my opinion, and I think you know this is kind of you can kind of feel it, but it's not too too much. I think some people may be turned off by too much zoom. Yeah. I, I actually like it, uh, but you know, I can see how some people would not be into it. I think I'm getting to that point where I'm getting turned off by too much zoom. Yeah. You know, cause it's just like too, too much, too much bounce. I just yeah. want like pretty responsive. Like actually I want like really responsive cushion, just a little tiny bit of bounce and impact protection, just like in the jet lines or um, uh, jet line cushion or like charge cushion, which is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not mad at right now, but um, if you like bouncy cushion, and then this will be a very good cushion for you. Yeah. Uh, for me, I didn't really like it that much. I give it like a seven. Um, I you won't find me playing in these uh, a lot, but I will play in that a little bit. But yeah. um, what about you? Yeah, if you like bounce and impact protection, you'll like this. If you want court feel and responsiveness, you will not like this. Um, I give it a 10. I like it. Really? I love it, yeah. I'm very interested. Um, so much interest. It's hard to go wrong with Zoom with me. If you could give me a full length Zoom setup, I'll, I'll probably like it a lot. So. Damn, it's kind of crazy how like my, my feelings are changing and shit. Yeah, I mine too a little bit. Like, you know, I used to only wear full my full length Zoom LeBron 11s, but like I like to have some response too, you yeah. know? I like to switch it up and play in the hyper shifts, which is crazy responsive. Yep. Um, so yeah, uh, now moving on to the upper. The Materials. Hence the name Flying It. This is 100% Flying It. It's the Prine It. Uh, it's so fly nitty. 
So like um, it, my it, you, my grandmother knitted this <laughs> basically. So uh, fly knit is very overrated in my opinion. It's a nice material, but um, a lot of times uh, Nike just doesn't implement it right. And uh, mesh, I think, or jacket is uh, just as good, if not better, sometimes. Yeah. You know, but I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to like like bash on fly knit though. It's just like I'm saying it's overrated. Is that bashing on fly knit? Saying it's overrated? Um, maybe a little bit, but um, sorry. <clears throat> You know, it's just a knit, it's just, and yeah. they named it fly knit, yeah. right? I guess it's their technology of yeah. knit, but you know, the price of a fly knit, the, the, the price they're charging for fly knit is really why it's overrated. That's true, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not better than Jacquard performance-wise, in our opinion. It's not bad. It's maybe maybe just as good, just as but good. it's not worth more money. Exactly. Just because it, it costs them more money, maybe to do it, which I don't, I don't even, I don't even know, think believe so. that. Yeah. You know, it's but, not that hard. It's like making a fucking T-shirt, man. Yeah. It's just whatever. I mean, this is a two hundred dollars shoe. Two hundred dollars. That's crazy, you know. But I mean, uh, a lot of other fly knit stuff, like the free run. Yeah. Or with the fly knit free runs, there's like one hundred and fifty dollars or something. I'm like what? Yeah. Just adding fly knit. Yeah. No, but um, uh, fly knit is a uh, good material though. So uh, yeah. on, in this, uh, it's really soft and pliable, you know, and uh, reduces the weight by a lot in the shoe. Uh, it, I think it is glued down in the toe area right here. Um, in the uh, lateral side, I don't think it is. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, yeah, the, you get a lot more support, support in, in the toe area. You don't need That's support the in the most, toe area. The most supportive area is the toe. And you don't need support no. there. You need support right here yeah. in the lateral area. Uh, in the medial side, is really, really soft and uh, stretchy. Yeah. And also in the ankle collar area right here. I feel like stretchy. I'm molesting the shoe right now. <laughs> you know, I'm really getting into this, yeah. this to the shoe, it's you know. The sexy one, you oh know. Oh my god. Uh, this is a low, by the way. It is a low. So the ankle, this compression you don't need this shit no, stupid you can cut it, it makes it it makes it harder to put on and shit um, I, don't, I don't like it the support ends there yeah that's a low exactly so, so um going moving on to fit go down half a size it does run long yeah um, but it does it, it does fit super freaking narrow so if you have a wide foot you should, probably shouldn't even get these or yeah go up half uh, one whole size but I don't think you want to do that so just don't get these um, but uh, the materials just go right over all of my foot, yeah. which feels really nice. Um, moving on to lockdown. lockdown yeah, lockdown. Lockdown was good. There's a little heel heel slippage, really, just barely. But that has to do with the lacing system. The lacing system is really bad. The lacing system is really bad. The lockdown of the lacing system is really good. It's good, but it's almost uh, shooting itself in the foot because the it's foot. one of these shoes where you're either having needles in your feet because you're you're cutting off circulation. Or you're getting a little bit of slippage. Yeah, because like, um, if you guys can see, pulling this is really hard. Like, no, it's it's the hardest. It. It's the worst shoe to to unlace and lace I've ever. Yeah. And it sounds like, like first world problems. <laughs> like first like, world. what are you talking about, oh, yeah, dude? Just late. But it's really annoying. Yeah. It's really a problem. Yeah. You know. Oh, what, uh, at first it's really really bad, but then it breaks in a little bit and gets a little bit better. But that's but not still... like over time. You just feel like, oh, dude, I don't want to fuck. Yeah. You don't want to. You just want to tie your laces. You yeah. know. You don't want to have to go through a whole thing just to undo the laces to get your. And you won't get your foot out yeah. unless you undo the laces. Right. Which is good. Yeah. Which, which is, is good, good for lockdown. You know. So lockdown is good. Yeah. Uh, I guess he had a little bit of heel slippage. Um. Uh, moving on to support. Support is good. There's absolutely no ankle support here. None. Uh. You. Uh, ankle ankle brace does fit, so yeah. if you wear an ankle brace, you can wear that. But it looks a little weird, like it this does, is like yeah. puffy. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so um, it is a low. Or you could roll this down, but that still doesn't. Yeah, that still doesn't do much. But I like to wear it up like yeah, this. Yeah, that's how he did it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to the motherfucking uh, ventilation. Ventilation was good. Yeah, it was good. It was you got some one. big holes right here in the ankle, like yeah. a ton of breathability. That's and, the stretchy part. Yeah, you know. Okay, uh, now moving on to uh, durability. Durability. Yeah, I mean this is a pretty premium shoe. I think outdoors no go on oh, the no. traction. Um, the flying it, I think, would last a pretty good time. A lot. Good I've, I've never time. had any problems with flying it. Yeah, it just it does stretch out a little bit though yeah. over time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, now aesthetics. moving on to aesthetics. These are dope. I think they're pretty dope. I actually think they're really good looking shoe. I uh, would not say this that. Not this colorway. Yeah, I, I the really, Oreos are sick. The Oreos are sick and the all white ones. Yeah. With like the red swoosh or whatever, the USA colorway. They always drop the wackest colorway first. Yeah. Or one of the wacker ones. 
Um, if you caught these, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I don't mean to offend you, but I, I, not I have these shoes too, so yeah. don't even complain. I know. I'm, I got these too, bro. Um, <laughs> now moving on to the weights. Let's weigh these suckers. Now you got these in a what? Uh, seven. In a half. No, right. seven. Right. Seven. In a seven. Seven. Where's the freaking size? It's white. You can't even get to it. It's on the side right here. Where? Oh shit. That's it's a seven. Big. It's a seven. Yeah, so I did go down half a size. Okay, and the weight is 11.6. So that's really light. That's really light. That's actually, yeah, the Curry 2s are like 12 point something. Wow, that's so really light. This is a really light shoe. Um, Nike's been making really light shoes, but it doesn't feel light on my foot. No. It doesn't. I don't know, it's just a zoom. Um, the, it just, I don't feel light on my feet with these because of the zoom. Yeah, the um, zoom, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You're kind of noticing your foot. Exactly. Because it's like there's something reacting to yeah. your step, you know? So uh, I don't know if I like that anymore. I used to really like it at like a year ago, but now not so much. If you like that, then uh, definitely get the shoe. Um, price two hundred dollars. Uh, fuck that shit. No, sir. So um, yeah, just wait until this goes down in price, and if it's like a hundred twenty, hundred forty bucks, then you should probably cop it. Yeah. But not worth two hundred dollars at all, in no. my opinion. Um, so there you go. Uh, but, but I like the shoe. I, yeah, I like the shoe. I too. think it's dope. I think it's real dope. But it's not like. It's oh, not, that's a two hundred dollars shoe I have to have in my bag. Exactly, and it's not a shoe that you have to have because no. you can get a lot better shoes for or or on the same level as a shoe for cheaper. Yeah, you know. So um, if you really want these, then go ahead. If you want to spend the two hundred dollars, not my problem. But um, I, I respect I would, what yeah I respect what Nike's doing though. Um, and I think Leo Chang designed this. Yeah, designed this right. Designed this. <laughs> designed this. <laughs> designed this. Yeah. Panda panda. Um, I do have broads in Atlanta, but. You know, uh, I, I respect what they're doing. They're trying to innovate and push the Hyperdunk forward. The Hyperdunk to me is a shoe that's like, uh, kind of like pushing boundaries of like performance basketball as far as Nike goes. And they're trying to continue to do that, which is cool. I'm not mad, but I think they missed it uh, on this particular model on the Elite version a little bit. Yeah. It's a little bit overpriced. Maybe um, if it was like a little still bit. still pretty cool. Yeah, if it was like 160, I think it'd be a lot better. Yeah. But anyways, that's our performance review. We do recommend this shoe, but it's yes. not the best shoe out there, out there, especially for the price. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys want to cop this shoe, the link might be in the description. I said might, and we will see you guys yeah. in the next video. <laughs> Thank we you guys might, for watching. We might see you in the next video. Yeah, sir. Later. Peace.